being recorded. We're going to get this posted up in our event page as well as in the Southeast Region page. If you are in the Southeast Region, you're not a part of our page, make sure I'm going to post it in the comments of this thread, but make sure you request to join that page so we can get you at it and you are up to date with all of uh, everything Southeast Region, everything from corporate. I'm Keyshawn Graves. I'm your coach, business development mentor for the Southeast Region. I work with the 338 Star Diamonds. And we have an amazing call in store for you today. We have the amazing Bonnie Engel on to share her game plan for Clean Week as well as finishing the year strong. But before we pass the mic over to Bonnie and then our fearless leader, Carl Deichler, we do have a few announcements. So I'm going to pass the mic over to our executive director of the Southeast Region, Craig. Hey, you guys, good afternoon. It is now 12.01 Eastern time, so officially afternoon. You guys, I am not gonna take a lot of time because like Keyshawn said, we have two uh, awesome speakers to share with you today, but did just wanna make sure that you are taking note of a couple of really important things that are going on in the business right now, okay? Uh, we're always doing things at Beachbody. We've got lots of tools and resources, systems, things for you to plug into. <laughs> So make sure if you are not connected to uh, the Coach Breaking News that you can access through your Coach Online office, please go to the Coach Breaking News and check out all the things going on. Uh, open up the TVB411 Facebook page and just make sure that you're staying current with all of the resources and systems that the company offers. But I just wanted to put a couple things on your radar, okay, as you, as you think about um, your game plan for this month, all right? First of all, you know that we just launched Clean Week. If you haven't watched the Clean Week surge yet uh, that happened Tuesday night, please go to Coach uh, TVB Coach 411, watch that Clean Week surge, go to the Beachbody Champions page, watch the training video that Kim Carver did about how to implement Clean Week into your business so you know how to send the links, you know how to get people signed up. Guys, this is a really cool program that we can go to the masses with. It just helps people connect to Beachbody, helps people connect to you as a coach and really understand the value that you can bring into their lives. It's a great way to get people uh, to, to figure out what we have to and, and change lives. So, so please connect with that if you haven't yet. All right. Second thing I want to hit on quickly is double time. All right. We have a new program coming out with Tony Horton designed to help the, the family get healthier. And so the double time launch will be November 1st. All right. What are we doing now to create excitement and for you to help get your coaches and your customers amped up, potential customers amped up about double time, okay? We're gonna give away some double time swag for everyone who hit Success Club in October. All right, so this month, if you wanna have, uh, Keyshawn, you got like visuals there or something? <laughs> I brought up double time swag and you started playing with something. I'm like, do you have an example of this? That'd be awesome. We've got a double time towel. We've got a double time cinch bag. Keyshawn does not have examples, but she will. Anyway, hit success club with double time in October, you guys. Okay, it's a, it's a November one launch and you'll have your stuff ready. Okay, the other thing I wanna say about this is write these dates down, October 14th and 15th will be the double time sneak peek. Now what's really cool about this sneak peek, you guys, is that um, these workouts, double time workouts that you'll be able to access will be in front of what we call the paywall, kind of like clean week, like where, where people can go and if they're just on beachbodyondemand.com, they will be able to see the workouts. Okay, so you can share these with these aren't just you know workouts that only coaches can see or only beach body on demand subscribers can see. You could literally have all of your prospects, all of your family members, anyone that wants to check these out can see these. And so it's a really new um, and cool way that we're that we're getting um, this new program launch out there. So make sure on on October 14th and 15th you're ready to leverage and share that uh, double time sneak peek. Okay, and then finally. Um, kind of along with that, Carl Deichler, and he may refer to it when he gets on here, he's opened a group on Facebook called We're Here to Help Families, all right? And uh, it's a really fun way. Again, we want to bring uh, health into the home. We want to make the home the healthiest place on earth. And this We're Here to Help Families group is a very cool platform to be able to do that. So go check out that page on Facebook, okay? <laughs> good thing Carl arrived. We'll be good to go here, all right? Um, and then finally, Mark on your calendars October 16th, okay, October 16th, 
will be registration day for a fun promotion that we'll be opening in November called a November to remember. Uh, it'll be combined with our launch of double time, another fun way to bring health into the home. November to remember will be almost like a team cup, but your team will be a success partner. You and a success partner holding each other accountable, having fun, raising the bar for yourselves, getting results. And as you do that, you'll have a chance to earn really cool prizes. You will be giving away more prizes in this uh, November to remember than we have in any other coach competition that I'm aware of and will also be giving away some huge prizes, even up to $50,000 uh, that, that we, you will be able to donate to a local school related charity or your local PTA. So again, just another way uh, to show people what Beachbody is about and our mission to make the home healthier. All right, so with that, I'm gonna end those announcements because we gotta get Bonnie on here and then we gotta get Carl on here. You guys, we're gonna have a fun time. Get ready to, uh, to rock and roll. Keisha, awesome. Kirk. Thanks, Craig. Guys, a lot of amazing things for you and your teams to take advantage of now through the end of the year. Shoot for it. Shoot for it in order to finish this year strong and to start 2018 off with a bang. The work that you guys put in now, today, this quarter will absolutely set you up for great success and success potential next year. But it starts now. It starts in this last quarter. We have just under 13 weeks left, so make sure you have your goal styled in and take advantage of these promotions that we have in place for you. All right, now on to hear from a coach who's been around for three years. She's a superstar diamond in her first business center. She's one star diamond in her second business center. She's a Success Club 10 all-star legend, a two-time top 10 coach, a 2017 top 10. I can go on and on and on, but we have the amazing Bonnie Engel on to share her game plan for clean week and how she plans to finish the, week, the year strong. Bonnie, are you here? Are you ready to rock our world? What's up? Thank you. I love being introduced by Keyshawn. She pumps me up just by talking. Um, so yesterday when Craig asked me to kind of speak a little bit on this call, he asked me to talk about two things. Um, obviously, I'm going to get into what my team and I are doing for clean week and all of the amazing summit announcements and everything that's coming up this month. And towards the end of the year in this fourth quarter, but I wanted to talk about this idea that really excited me yesterday on the phone. He asked me, Bonnie, what are you excited about in the business for the end of this year? You know, how are you wrapping up this year with excitement, charging forward? Because truth be told, we've been in a year of evolution or the way I look at it. We've been in this year of, you know, how do we elevate ourselves to the next level to separate ourselves from the competition? And I've actually been thinking about this idea a lot lately for my team and, you know, the way things have been unfolding this year with changes with Beachbody On Demand, changes in social media, changes in how we present the business. All of that is good and working in our favor. And I started to think about this one book that kind of talks about this idea. It's called the Blue Ocean Strategy. I read it earlier this year. It's kind of hard to get through. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it or read it or maybe uh, heard some YouTube videos on it, but it is a great book that talks about this whole idea of business in general and having a red ocean or a blue ocean. And essentially, you know, if we think about our business, um, as a whole, you know, what we deal in health and fitness, helping people live healthy, fulfilling lives. Basically, we have a lot of competition, right? We have gyms, we have Weight Watchers, we have all of these fads out there. We have wraps, we have, you know, we could go on and on for ways to lose weight, ways to look your best, ways to feel your best. There's endless solutions. And in this book, basically, the author talks about how in a red ocean strategy, you have all these competitors in your business. And basically, to get ahead, you're knocking down other competitors and facing them head on and basically having the same solutions over and over and over again, just different marketing strategies, different outlets, all that kind of stuff, which creates a red ocean, right? Which creates this space where we're all competing with each other, which I feel up until this point has been what social media has been for coaches. Now, within this past year, with the evolution of Beachbody On Demand, I mean, we have completely separated ourselves and elevated ourselves three steps above where everyone else is. So now, we're in this cool blue ocean place where we're operating completely separate. In my mind, 
none of our competitors hold a candle to what we have to offer. We have kind of this full on solution that we're giving people. Now we're operating in a blue ocean. We're not in a red ocean. We're competing with all of these other people who seemingly have some type of solution that helps people live healthy, fulfilling lives, but it doesn't really. Now, as we start to evolve as business owners and as a company, which I'm very grateful that we're part of a company that kind of evolves ahead of the curve, which also causes some growing pains within coaches, right? Within coaches and within the network and, and with how we evolve with each other. We kind of want to sit back on our laurels and stay in that red ocean, right? Because it's easy to take a cue from other people who offer the same things. It's easy to rest on things that always work. But now we've been pushed out of our nest into this beautiful blue ocean where we are operating by ourselves. We're having to figure out this new way of reaching people with this new solution that is really an all around solution. And as I was sitting there thinking about what am I excited about, at the risk of sounding cliche, I guess everything, you know, when Keyshawn was introducing me and talking about all my accolades and how long I've been a coach. I'm a baby coach in this business. I look at myself as I have not dipped my toes in what I'm capable of in this business or what I'm capable of offering people in this business. And when I look at, you know, coaches in this business who I look up to, my sponsor has been in this business eight, nine years. Other coaches who I follow have been in this business, you know, nine years. To me, that gives me such a sigh of relief that I know five years from now, I can still be evolving. The company will still be evolving one step ahead of all of our competition. I will still be able to thrive on social media, changing with social media, right? You know, if we think about the idea of Facebook and how we're kind of frustrated by it's always changing, but then we think about all of these random little competitors that pop up, Snapchat, where the hell did Snapchat go? Guess what? Facebook evolved enough before Snapchat took it over. They entered a new realm, which elevated them into a blue ocean. Facebook isn't going anywhere because they evolve every single day. If you think about, you know, uh, Twitter, what, where, where the hell is Twitter now? Because Twitter didn't evolve in the business realm enough every single day. They rested on what they know was good and what they know worked in the past. And guess what? They fell. And I want to tell you guys something that not a lot of people know, but growing up, I've told this story at Super Friday in Tampa Bay. So if you were there, you heard this story. But growing up, I was raised by my grandparents and they raised our family of, they had seven children and they had about 14 grandchildren. They raised our family on a home business and that home business was TV repairs. Um, and they had a very successful business. They knew everyone in the town. Um, everyone would bring their electronics in there to have them fixed. It was thriving. However, my grandparents failed to evolve with the times. They failed to um, see that soon TV repairs would be a silly thing, right? No one thinks when your TV breaks, I'm going to bring it to the local TV repair shop. Now it's cheaper to go into a Best Buy and buy a brand new TV. So the industry evolved and they failed to evolve and they fell behind and their business went out of business when they retired. They didn't have anything to pass on. And when I think about people are upset with changes in social media or upset with changes in our business, yeah. upset with those types of things, I think this is a great thing. We're now swimming in a big blue ocean that is beautiful and ready for us to evolve. So that's what I am excited about. You know, when I was sitting there listening at Summit to these announcements, kind of um, in the front row, you feel like everyone's staring at you, like your face is on a huge teleprompter. And I'm thinking there, hearing all these announcements, first of all, this company really, really listens to us. Announcement after announcement of all of the pain points within my team, at least. Um, daily sunshine. How many people do we have who say, oh, I can't drink Shakeology, there's something in it I'm allergic to, or it's not certified, I need something that's certified. This idea of really bringing health to families as a whole, again, kind of hitting on that point where we offer the entire solution, not just a solution for someone who can drink Shakeology, but a solution as a whole. Thinking about you know the UK launch, which I kind of wanted to touch on for one second, I'm excited about the UK launch, but I'm not excited about October 19th only. 
I'm excited about the possibilities of a whole new ocean that's opening up with the launch of the UK. You know, I feel like until this point, we've been a, a company that has killer, stellar, amazing products, but we haven't really said we're a freaking boss in this industry until now. We have a new website. We're opening internationally. We have a solution to every single solitary objection that a coach or a challenger could possibly come to you, right? And then with the announcement of Clean Week. So up until now, you know, as coaches, we've kind of been floundering around, taking a cue from other coaches. How do we create free content to give, 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 and then ask from people, right? Because it's the only way you get people to commit. If you're giving your time and then you're asking in return, hey, let me help you further with this, but you have to make a commitment. And we've been kind of, you know, jostling around with crock pot groups and how do we make a clean eating group when we, we're not really nutritionists, we're not really fitness experts, we're just people who kind of know and love these products and pass them on to the next. And then they announced Clean Week and I thought, what an answer to what the network needs, to what the coaches actually need to move forward. If you are not using this product, maybe you're not using it for yourself, but if you're not using this to leverage your team's success, this is a game changer for people who cannot hit success club, for people who have trouble making a sale, for people who have trouble explaining the benefits of the programs. And here's how I kind of leveraged, and I'll end with this, clean week on my social media this week and how I'm telling my team to leverage it. So for me, traditionally for launches, I like to wait a week after a launch just so that all the kinks are worked out. We know what all the links are. We know that they all work. You know, all the prices are solid and people are talking about it on social media, right? It's buzzing. So this week for me, I'm concentrating on me doing the workouts. I did the first one yesterday, which was so amazing. Megan Davies kills it. She talks about every single program that we have to offer. So every move that she does, she's talking about, hey, this is from P90X. This is from Turbo Fire. It's actually brilliant the way it's put together. It's basically like an free advertising for seven days for Beachbody On Demand. Um, so basically on my social media, I'm doing these workouts, I'm putting them up on my Insta stories, I'm talking about Clean Week in a different way, and I'm curiosity marketing the crap out of it. So basically if you go to my business page, I did a video of little clips from Clean Week, and instead of saying, hey, Clean Week announcing new launch from Beachbody, I talk about, you know, um, would you ever like to have a sneak peek into what I do every day, into what my challengers do every day? Um, and then I ask them a question that's not about Clean Week, so I get a conversation started within the thread. And then I went live on my team page today talking to my team about how to post about it. I posted three different examples of here's how you create curiosity around the program. Here's how you talk about the details of it without giving it all the way. Here's how you get people to comment on your posts without saying comment below if you want to join Clean Week. It's about really tricking your followers into talking to you so that you can start the conversation so you can get in there and start talking to them. But really the most important thing is that you're running these clean week groups for your team. So if you have a team, maybe you have two people on your team, maybe you have zero people on your team, maybe you have 500 people on your team, I don't even know. But making sure that you're not just figuring out for yourself, but you're passing it on to the next because this is a game changer for the network. We no longer have to flounder around with things that we don't know work. Now we have a comprehensive program that was put together basically to help us market a challenge group so that we can get in there and help people live healthy, fulfilling lives. That is all I have, Keyshawn and Craig. That's it. Girl, thank you so much. Great tips there, y'all. Get out the red ocean, stay in the beautiful blue. All right, y'all. He's here. We have um, our CEO, Carl Deichler, on to speak with us. Carl, are you here? What? What's up? Hi. <laughs> what do you need with me? You got Bonnie, man. You got to... Can I just say one thing? I just sat in Craig's chair, and his butt is hot. Yeah. <laughs> I did clean week this morning. <laughs> Seriously, man. Gosh. <laughs> Warm it up for your living room. It's seriously, <laughs> you're running a little hot there, my friend. The high metabolism. Well, hi. So, uh, we got that, that was great. That, that, yeah, it's good. You got to, you know, your region, the Southeast region needs to know about this stuff. Um, who's got a hot butt and who doesn't here? And I want to know why.
Keyshawn has such better lighting than I do. That is not, look at her, man. She's like, I catch my light. You got to catch your light, Carl. She's radiant. She's like an angel. Um, all right. So, um, a couple things and, uh, and then we got to get to work. We got to do some, we got to do some work and help some people here. And, uh, it's funny because, uh, Bonnie, uh, talking about that book, Blue Ocean Strategy, I couldn't finish that book. Like I sort of, once I was like, I see, I get it. You get this unique, you don't want to be in the red, this is bloody and the people are bashing their heads together. You got to be in an area that you are innovating and you are doing something that is unique unto itself. And uh, so that is sort of a test that we constantly use to make sure that really within the, the, um, your webinar live to Facebook or YouTube, but Zoom. what happened to you? Multiple video participants can be seen in active. What's that mean? Do you think? I have no idea. Never heard that before. Keyshawn, got, got it. it. Okay, you got it. So, um, so we got just got to make sure that we are providing you uh, what, what we call a unique selling proposition to a unique you market. Have the of the Zoom webinar interface. So, oh, Choose yeah. to go live. Sounds like she's holding up her hands. Now we're good. <laughs> That's the weirdest. All right. Okay. It's two strikes. <laughs> you know I'm out on three. I got my. I got to enjoy my shake. Hold on. I'm gonna take a sip, and then we're gonna get to this. Because I'm going to tell you, all right, first off, you got to watch the surge. People like Bonnie, people like Amber Kuyper, who's running uh, Take Back the Kitchen, uh, based on watching us reveal Daily Sunshine and Double Time, and she and her husband thinking, how are we going to create a unique selling proposition around this? What are we going to do to reach people with these incredible products? They innovated. They decided that they took things into their own hands and they created uh, opportunity as coaches. You look at the surge, you look at Haley and Christina and Megan who are on there and you can hear their tactics and the way they run groups. And what I wanted to say, as great as Beachbody On Demand is, as great as Clean Week is, as unbelievably unprecedented as this shake is and Daily Sunshine and Beachbody Performance, you wanna know what the greatest value and differentiator is of all of this? It's you. It's the coach. And you might be like, okay, that's neat that he said that. He's so nice. No, I don't care. I'm not trying to be nice. What I'm trying to say is that as a value creator, that the thing in the, the equation here that has the most outrageous value, because Beach Body on Demand, yes, I believe it is the best, but people can go get workouts. They can go ride their bikes or they can go swim or they can go get workouts on YouTube for free or they can figure out how to eat by buying a book or reading magazines, they can put it all together. They can go concoct a kale, shake, it won't taste that good, but anyway, all right, they won't be able to do that, but they can come up with some way to eat a little healthier. But what's the difference between the coaches right now who are increasing in revenue and the ones who are struggling? And it's the people, the coaches, who understand that they are the catalyst of change. There's a reason that we call you coaches and not distributors is because I want to be as far away from the concept of network marketing and MLM as possible because we are not a transactional company. We are a service company. We are a service industry. And the reason that we think we can help people achieve their goals to lead healthy, fulfilling lives is not because we sell a shake. It's because we help hold people accountable with the Challenge Tracker app. I had been a member of gyms that cost me $100 a month. And I go in there and I don't have a trainer and nobody asks me how I did. Nobody follows up with me if I didn't show up. If I don't go to the juice bar and, and I don't get a shake, nobody asks me what my diet's like. Nobody tried to help me. A hundred bucks a month. We're talking and, and, and I'd still have to buy the shake and I'd still have to pay for the healthier food. So what do you have? Like people are like, Hey, it gets a little uh, intimidating when people say, how much does that shake cost? If I were you as a coach, I'd say, I got great news. The shake is free, but you pay $130 a month for me to help you get great results because I'm going to be the first person that's going to hold you accountable. In fact, we were talking about it last night at dinner um, in terms of the coach opportunity. And there's so much focus on success club and uh, ranks, which is all great and getting elite. And I appreciate all that stuff and all those incentives. But let me tell you what I would do if I was a coach right now, October 5th to January 1st. This is what I would do. And I wish I could be a coach. Ah, I just, 
it's, there's so much opportunity with 266 million people overweight or obese. And I guarantee you right now, they're not sitting there like, yes, I'm overweight or obese. I'm one of them. No, they want to feel healthy. They want to feel vibrant. They want to be teaching and inspiring their families to feel that way. So what would I be doing if I was a coach? I would, I would make it my absolute goal, and I wouldn't sleep until I had a thousand, a thousand new people in challenge packs drinking Shakeology every day by January 1st. I would want a thousand people. I don't care if they become coaches or not. I don't want them to be discount coaches because I want that $30 a month commission. If I was starting a nutritionist office, if I was starting a fitness office or I was starting a shake bar, my goal when people come in is not how am I going to get money from this person? My goal is going to be how can I provide value to this person so that they get results from this shake, from this workout, from this nutrition plan that I'm going to provide them as a service provider. My goal would be to get a thousand people in my group so that I'm getting $30,000 in retail commissions every single month. What? Mind blown. We hardly even talk about the retail commission. But I'm going to work for it, and I'm going to help them, and I'm going to create my squad, and I'm going to create my group so that those 1,000 people that I'm going to get by January 1st, and I'm going to start with my first 200, maybe 300 this month, I'm going to march them down the path of clean week and a little obsessed, double time. Maybe we'll do something else fun in December, and then they're going to be ready to start 80-day obsession. Oh, wait, that reminds me what time is it? I need to keep my eye on this. It is 1026. All right, hold on. I just have to, ah, shoot. I'll do it. Hi, just hold on one second. See, here what I got is this thing. See, I got, I'll show you what I'm doing. Get a peek at behind the scenes, what happens in the CEO's office when nobody's looking. Um, see, I got, this is a 80 day obsession. I watch the live feed, make sure nobody says any curse words or anything. So, uh, <laughs> So I just have to watch that start, um, make sure that it goes off at 9.30 the way it's supposed to. So that's what I would do. Sorry. Um, be a coach. Be a value in somebody's life. What doesn't matter as much as that, the brand Beachbody, even Beachbody On Demand, uh, the shake certainly is meaningful. But what matters most, when you start a conversation with somebody, like a lot of the stuff that Bonnie said was great, but I hope that you don't. You, you can sort of tie your shoelaces together trying to be like, I need to say what Bonnie said. And I think you can restrict yourself. All you're doing is relating to people. You are, you were raised to relate to people and help solve problems. I guarantee you could do that. And if somebody walked up to you and if, and if you weren't being paid for it and they said, Hey, how can I get some results? Do you have any idea? You would talk. No problem. Here's how you get results. Here's the, well, fitness resource that you can talk about. Here's a shake that helps you. It worked for me, um, regardless. But you get you tie your shoelaces together when you start to worry about how am I going to get? What am I? What week do I put them in as a challenge group? What do I do? No, you're just coaching them. That's all you got to be. Get out of a distributor mindset and get into a value creation, a, a mindset of service where you're delivering value to people. And I think. If you're aggressive about it, okay, maybe a thousand is a lot of people. Get 200 people by January 1st. There's 266 million people. I guarantee there are 200 people in your orbit right now sitting at their desks or at home wishing somebody would step into their lives with belief and enthusiasm and represent that they are going to feel better by January 1st because of your intervention because you're going to step up and be there for them like no gym that they've ever been a member of. The average gym membership is $40 per month in North America. It's, it only serves 60 million people out of the over 300 million people in North America, and the average commute is four miles. Now, unless you live on a super highway, that four miles isn't taking four minutes. It's taking probably about 15 to 20, 25 minutes to get to the gym and back. And that's time away from the family, so the kids aren't seeing you actually live a healthy lifestyle, and they're resenting the gym or the healthy lifestyle because it's taking you away from them. Now, we're putting it in the home. We're making the home the healthiest place in your lives, and that's what you're doing for your customers. So there's this collateral benefit. So instead of their kids growing up being like, I wonder if I should try to fit health and fitness into my life. I wonder if there's 
any recipes that can help me cook food in a different way that's portion appropriate that helps me make cannelloni out of eggplant. That's a thing. You can make cannelloni out of eggplant and you can learn about it on Fixate. You've got all this at your fingertips and you can represent this to your customers. And once you start to show people how enthusiastic you are about this and how powerful it can be, you're going to attract other people who would love to make as much money as you're making because when you're that good as a coach, when you're that enthusiastic, you're going to start making money and they're going to want to make money too. But we don't want mercenaries. We want people who come in this to deliver value. That's what you want on your team because that's what's going to attract other people on your team who are going to create value and they're going to stick around even when there's another shiny object over there because we will continue to evolve, like Bonnie said. So that's what I wanted to get on this call and say to you today. They're running late over here. Don't know what's going on with that. So that's what, that's what I wanted to get on here today. The tactics are there for you. Um, between the surge, and I strongly recommend, it's on Team Beachbody 411, take the hour and 11 minutes and listen to that. Not for what I say, but for what Haley, Christina, and Megan said. You listen to what Bonnie said. You listen to the other coaches. That you take, you learn in general the tactics. But the primary tactic that I'm going to tell you today that is important for you is do not discount yourself as coach. Know that, oh, check this out. Here, you guys want to see something fun? Here, look. It's starting. Isn't that fun? So they're like, that's the beginning. That's the beginning of day 60 they're doing. See, she just said it's day 60. So there you go. All right, they started it right. So I'm gonna let you guys go do your thing. Thank you so much for giving me time to do this. Ah, be a coach, be proud to be your coach. Know that in the conversation, the, the most important thing is not how you describe Shakeology or Beachbody On Demand or this amazing opportunity. The most important thing about, this com about that conversation is how you represent yourself as a coach and don't discount yourself in that. So when somebody goes, that shake sounds a little expensive, you say, tell me another shake that comes with a person who's gonna keep track of you consuming that shake on an app to make sure that you are getting a potent, biologically viable daily dose of dense nutrition. What other person is gonna, what other shake, if you buy your shake at Whole Foods, guaranteed they're not calling up and checking up on you and you're in an app or making sure that you're getting results. That's what you do. That's what's miraculous. You are not a distributor. You are a coach. So be that, represent that, be proud of it, and stoke that. Build tactics around that. Represent that. Like this is where you do a full stop, like these other coaches who are increasing their business and go, how am I going to help people? And we do it in multiple levels. Invite, invite, invite means I'm inviting people into my challenge group with the challenge pack, but if they're not quite ready, they want to try it for a week before they make it a lifestyle, I'm going to invite them to my clean week group or whatever I call it. And some of these people, they're going to be ready to be coaches. And it's a great opportunity. Invite, invite, invite. Constantly be in invitation mode, be proof the product works, and be proud that you're a coach. Okay, I got another coach uh, call to get to. Um, yes, you do. Sorry if that was funky but uh so proud of you guys so uh just love working with you and you just got to know you're a part of something completely different here um and i also understand that that what i just said i, I wouldn't be surprised if there's people on the call who are like i don't know if this is for me now and that's okay too hey, that's a good realization you don't want to waste your time but man for some people this thing is so big like it's literally i was in a meeting of yesterday and a guy was describing his peloton he's got a peloton bike and uh, and he was like this thing is such a game changer i was like really i was like who follows up with you if you don't use that that bike it costs forty dollars a month costing two thousand dollars to get the bike uh who follows up with you where are you getting your nutrition plan with that forty dollar a month thing and that two thousand dollar bike it's like well i gotta get that from the sun We're like okay great so what what happens when you uh, get bored and you realize that your upper body's not getting anything it's like well i'll go do a workout at the gym that i'm a member okay then it's not just forty dollars a month it's actually another forty dollars a month like we have got it all i'm so proud of what we do and the fact that i got you on this team helping people get results and change the world you are a catalyst of change for people. And don't you ever dare forget it. So be proud of it.
All right, we'll go do another thing, and I'm going to break my shake. Woo! Drop Thank the you, guys. Don't you ever forget it, y'all. Stay in that ocean. We have the solution. You are the solution. So be bold, be you, and know that no one is yours than you. You heard it from Carl. You got our goals. Let's go out there and do it. Finish this year strong, y'all. Talk to you soon. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Bonnie.